it's a very dull and uh, dreary day here in Scotland and I've come down to the wonderful Findhorn Valley and I'm here today to try to find uh, mountain hares so I was here the other day um, I did actually vlog it and uh, I did manage to find a mountain hare right at the very last moments on the way back to the car but I thought I'd come back today give it another go vlog on a different camera um, shooting today in on the Fuji X-T3 got the 600 uh, no tripod no beanbag waterproof cover on because it is still raining and fingers crossed we get to see some hairs they are not in their white coats at the moment so they're very difficult to spot and uh, but I'm hopeful maybe the hair that I saw the other day is still there and uh, I can get some more images of it and maybe a bit more video but what a place just look at it absolutely stunning lots of mist on the mountains but beautiful place so let's go let's go and try and find these hairs it's been a very wet day it hasn't uh, has stopped raining for probably 24 hours up here in, in Scotland and the the river that was uh, normally quite low it's now a torrent as the water comes down off the mountain beautiful place very very misty but actually got the whole place to myself so can't beat that so we're uh, coming up to the start of the mountain here now just behind me up there so yeah fingers crossed uh, get to see a hair. I'm going to go straight to the one that I found the other day and uh, hopefully he's still sitting there. You never know. I think once they found their little spot they tend to stick to it so but it's uh, stopped raining now which is which is a real treat now because it's been as I say been raining non-stop for over 24 hours so but yeah look at this just look at that that's where we're going up the top there so yeah time for the long climb now Bit of a climb I think I'll probably be here for a couple of hours but as you can see I'm getting getting higher now the mist is still rolling in but hopefully all the effort will be worth it I should probably come back in the next year when the when the hairs have turned white and they're much easier to spot but yeah let's uh let's keep going up this hill now Mountain hairs just run out of her from down here and it's just run just over there. So I'm going to try and uh, sneak up on it and see if I can get some photos and a bit of video. If you can see it on camera, let me just have a look. It's uh, just, just there. You can see it sitting next to it. favourite spot in there so I'll try and get a bit closer and uh, get some photos.
So uh, got some video of it now. Like the rest of it, looking absolutely soaked, but there was another one just ran behind it as well. So there's two and two in the area, but this one's uh, very tolerant. Uh, not bothered by me at all. In fact, I'm only probably six, seven meters away from it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some more fi pictures and, uh, and video. So what a truly amazing animal. I mean, it's just sitting here, cleaning itself, looking away. It's not bothered by me at all. And there's another, I've seen at least another two. There's one just down here that's run, running around. And I said before there was one just beyond it. So uh, yeah, really wonderful, wonderful to see again. This is the one I saw the other day, but there's another two around. So I'm gonna get a few photos of this one and then do a bit more searching, see if I can get any more photos of uh, some different hairs so but of a successful day so far <sighs> amazing oh, what an animal so love it here so peaceful no one else around just me there's my wife over the back there and a wonderful hair just here, which has got some wonderful images of it. It's currently got its head turned away from me, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop photographing this one, leave this one alone, and um, see if I can find any more. So, bring you back soon. No sign of any more hairs yet. It's really, really wet, and it's really, really boggy, so. And it's starting to tip it down the rain now. I don't know if you can see that in, on camera. So I'm not sure how waterproof this XT, XT3 is. So we'll see how much longer I do a, a video for. Um, I'll keep looking for a while anyway. But then I might, I might call it a day. And uh, got some nice uh, images. Got some video to show you. So all in all, a good couple of hours on this wonderful place. Well that's it, I'm going home now. Um, unfortunately, uh, no more mountain hares, I couldn't see any more. So, I'm very wet, my kit's soaked. Um, so yeah, time for a cup of coffee and head home back to the car. So, from, from a very wet Scotland, see you out there, bye.